You see, the whole entire time, this person has been watching you. You see how they are watching you? You see this owl? You see the eyes this owl has? I feel like you crossed paths with a divine counterpart in the past, but things did not pan out how you wanted them to with this person. I feel like your person could be ending up homeless around December or like living out of hotel or living out of an Airbnb or out of their car. Mons, you have two, two love offers here. You have the person who is your divine masculine. This is who you were contracted to be with in this lifetime with the Hierophant there. It's a spiritual union. But it's showing me that some of you, you may not want to do this with the two of wands there. You're reconsidering your path if you wish to move things forward with this person. There is a soulmate here. Some of you may already know this person. Others, you don't. But there's a soulmate here coming in, and they're making an offer to you. They're speaking to you. They're wanting to get to know you, okay? This could be in the third or fourth week of September. But this individual is going to talk to you. This soulmate. Hello, my beautiful Libras. How are you? Starcy Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is your general predictions read for September 2022. Here's the general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link for those of you interested in the description box below. If you are wanting to support the channel, you can click the heart icon underneath this video. Whatever you leave with me, I am truly grateful for. And I just want to thank everyone for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, views. I'm truly grateful for all of you here. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read from my beautiful Libras. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Okay, so we have, oh, number six, Pisces, and we have the moon. Mm, so we have the lovers there. We have the high priestess, the hangman, the moon card, as well as the chariot. We have Gemini, Pisces, and Cancer, and we have Mercury, Neptune, and the moon. I feel like there's going to be communication here with someone that it has been a long time coming. I feel like it has been a standstill. So let's see. Is there anything happening here? Divine timing and karmic justice. Hmm. Divine timing. Something you can't control. Learn to let go. Trust in divine timing. Be patient. And karmic justice. Wrongs made right, you will be vindicated, getting what you deserve, learning karmic lessons. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a specific message. Yeah, online. I feel like this is going to be a specific message, so don't take this if this isn't your story, right? Yeah, and man. Divine Masculine. So I do feel like this is a situation where you guys were dealing with a divine counterpart, your divine masculine, specifically he, she, they, them. Or it could have been, for some of you, a small portion of you, a divine feminine. But I feel like the majority of you watching this are in your divine feminine energy and you're dealing with a masculine energy, regardless of genders, regardless of sexual orientation. Okay, it does not matter right now. What I'm seeing is uh, the majority of you here are embodying the divine feminine energy. Now, you have this masculine coming in. And I feel like it was a long time, but I feel like there were delays. Hold up. Let's see what else is going to come up. Boredom. Okay. Marriage. The moon. Interesting. So the moon is showing up. Purpose. Brick wall. Rebuilding. Yeah, so there was a situation here, and I feel like September is going to come full circle. Yeah, owl and angel, yeah. 
I feel like you crossed paths with a divine counterpart in the past, but things did not pan out how you wanted them to with this person. This person could have ghosted you. They could have ran from the connection. But I'm seeing here that they're about to come in. There's about to be some communication. The issue that I'm seeing here is that it's been so long that some of you may have grown bored of this situation. But they are going to reach out to you. Now, I feel like Spirit blocked this from moving forward. If I'm being honest, I feel like at one point Spirit blocked this. Because brick wall is there. And it even says blocked for your highest good. Because you needed to continue on with your purpose. You needed to continue your healing and do your spiritual work. I'm hearing spiritual training, spiritual initiation. So some of you could have been like spiritually initiated uh, to a higher ranking. And you could have gotten more abilities with that. Your ability or the abilities that you already have could have been updated, upgraded. But you see, the whole entire time, this person has been watching you. You see how they are watching you? You see this owl? You see the eyes this owl has? The whole time, this person has just been watching you. Spying on you. Yeah, I'm hearing fake accounts. I'm also hearing fake phone number, fake email. This person could have been playing on your phone. But it's showing here that you guys have a psychic bond. And that you guys are going to end up married. It seems to me what's happening in September is that you guys are finally interacting. And there's going to be a rebuilding of this connection. So what was lost is going to be restored. Yeah, three of wands. You guys could have been waiting three months. For some of you, three years. For some of you, one year. But it's been a while. But you guys are destined. Is what I'm saying here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. I can't even make it up. The Wheel of Fortune talks about destiny. It's literally what I said. You guys are destined. But I feel like this person, they like got involved in some sort of karmic situation, a karmic cycle. And it, it ended up delaying. Like I feel like you and this person are already supposed to be together. Libra, I feel like you and this person are already supposed to be together. But it had to be blocked. It was blocked for your highest good because this individual got involved with a karmic energy. They got involved with a third party. Spirit had to pull you away to protect you. Your ancestors had to pull you away. Your spirit guides, okay? Um, your alien, um, I guess you could say watchers, right? Your extraterrestrials that watch over you. Your angels... Like, basically, everyone had to, like, pull you out of there, create space between you and this individual because there was a karmic lurking, a karmic energy. And they needed to do this to protect you because I feel like this karmic was doing death spells. I feel like this karmic was plotting to jump you with someone else, some of you. Yeah, so it's like, they needed to, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles spare saying, yes, you have an Ace upright. So it's like they needed to create space with you and your person because they didn't want this baggage to get thrown onto you. For some of you, this could be a Leo that you're dealing with and the Ace of Wands is there, so it could be a Twin Flame situation. So September, I'm seeing a commitment. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me about this purpose, owl, and brick wall. <sighs> Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. They always say, take them if they fall out. So the Two of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. Yeah. And then the Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. You have two, two love offers here. You have the person who is your Divine Masculine. This is who you were contracted to be with in this lifetime with the Hierophant there. It's a spiritual union. But it's showing me that some of you, you may not want to do this with the Two of Wands there. You're reconsidering your path if you wish to move things forward with this person. There is a soulmate here. Some of you may already know this person. Others, you don't. But there's a soulmate here coming in, and they're making an offer to you. They're speaking to you. They're wanting to get to know you, okay? This could be in the third or fourth week of September. 
But this individual is going to talk to you. This soulmate. They know of you. They heard of you somewhere. Mutual friend. Whenever I see the King of Pentacles, I always get mutual friend. A mutual friend of a family member or a mutual friend of a friend. So they know of you. You have the Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. This is your Divine Masculine. However, you have to understand they're coming in with Page energy. So their communication, it might not be the greatest. Right? It might be a little, you know, it's like, this individual is supposed to be an emperor, but they're showing up as a page. So it's kind of like, uh, but you know, we all have free will, right? And I feel like with work, this person, you know, that was blocked from you momentarily, I feel like with work, they can step up into their emperor role. The Eight of Swords and Seven of Wands is showing you guys being, I don't want to say that you're all, like all of you are like this, but some of you it is important to work a little bit on the heart chakra because I'm seeing here it's like a, a resistance. There, there's like, um, how do I say it? It's like, I don't want to say you have a block heart chakra. I feel like it's more so, it's almost like a fear, like, uh, this is so strange, but I just have to say what I'm getting. And this may not apply to everyone, so do not take it, right? But it's almost like a fear some of you have of like getting into a connection with someone and really having to opening, really having to open up to them, excuse me, like really having to like bear your soul, bear your truth to this person. It's an energy of like some of you are like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to open up. But it's almost like I'm seeing in the future if you were to get involved with either individual, it's almost like a coldness that I'm getting from some of you, like a like a, a wall coming up. So there could be some healing that needs to be done for some of you in regards to your heart chakra. But yeah, you have two individuals here. Yeah, I'm getting something about spiked hair. So somebody's hair could be spiky or somebody could use a lot of hair gel. Hmm. But yeah, that Queen of Cups in reverse is also representing third-party karmic. There's a third-party energy that was around uh, your person. It's what I was saying. And Queen of Cups in reverse, that's an emotional manipulator. So your person was caught up in a very, very toxic situation. But it's like they want to move forward. Your person could be a Taurus, or a Leo, or a Sagittarius, Cancer, Gemini, or Pisces, or the third party. Or, you know, you could be a cross-watcher, one of those signs. This is all going to be, I, I feel like for a majority of you, this is all going to be through text message. Yeah, death at the bottom. Some of you, you may hear of someone passing away. If that is the case, I am so, so sorry for, you know, your loss. Um... I feel like there's something else Spirit wants to talk about. Or there's something more. It's like they want me to elaborate on something. In the world. Some of you may be taking a trip somewhere or driving somewhere. Like up north. I'm hearing up north. Ace of Cups. Or you're, or you're traveling from up north to go down south. Hmm. The World Card and the Ace of Cups. King of Cups, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's showing this masculine coming in and making this love offer. This is like a, a reunion. If you are wanting it. This would be like a twin flame reunion. Um, coming into union with your divine counterpart. That's what this would be. If you guys are wanting this... All they have to give you is love. That's all they have to give you. So you have two people here that you need to decide. You're going to have to make a decision. This King of Pentacles has money, but I feel like your person, there's something here about their money. I feel like they could be broke or they're going to be laid off. But you're about to be in a relationship either way. You're about to be in a connection. 
or things are going to take place in September that's going to put this into motion, right? There could also be some sort of promotion for some of you at work, or like you could be getting a job offer from a man with a beard. Yeah, this could be an older man with gray hair, gray beard, or this could be a man with a brown beard, brown hair, or like reddish brown hair, or brown, or like a, like a reddish brown hair, or reddish brown beard, or both. Um, for some of you, it could be a bald man making this job offer to you. Look at this, the Empress is going to come out. Wow. Knight of Wands, yeah, this individual is going to chase after you. The runner is now going to be the chaser, and the chaser is going to be the runner. And the Hermit. <clears throat> Temperance, yeah, th this is a real divine connection. I feel like this person could be ending up homeless. Yeah, Five of Cups. I feel like your person could be ending up homeless around December. Or like living out of hotel or living out of an Airbnb or out of their car. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. And the Empress. Yeah. Mm. I feel like it can go either way. Some of you Libras are going to move on with the soulmate. Others of you, you're not going to go forward with the soulmate. You're going to go forward and try with your Divine Masculine. I do see a new job offer coming in. For those of you that are looking for work, you're looking uh, for a new turn in your career. But I'm also seeing for some of you, it could be a promotion. But it's like you may have to be transferred to a different department or, or a different town or state. I even heard country for some of you. Also, uh, if you are capable of having kids or like, if you know you can get your partner pregnant, right, just be careful um, or you, you know you're capable of getting someone pregnant, just be careful because there's a very fertile energy around you. Like, it's really fertile. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a baby boy. So some of you could end up actually getting pregnant this September. I'm just going to be honest. If some of y'all are not careful... You're going to end up with the, you know, with the baby. Or, you know, you could end up, if if you're a man with a woman, you could end up getting her pregnant. Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, yeah. Yeah, there was someone that was keeping your person stuck. Yeah, but now it's like single life, because the Nine of Pentacles is there and the King of Wands. So... If that situation hasn't ended, it's about to end. Wow, Nine of Swords. I feel like you have been wondering if your love life is going to take off. Page of Swords. And it is. It, it's just been taking time. Oh, look, the devil. Seven of Swords. I feel like both of these individuals have baggage. And... Three of Swords, they need to be honest with you. Because I feel like some crazy, yeah, King of Cups. Both the Twin Flame and the Soulmate have some baggage. They have some secrets and they need to come clean. They need to come clean. There's stuff here about their money, you know, especially if they're homeless. Like, what on earth happened there? You know, like, what happened? They have to come clean. They have to tell you, you know. Um, but Spirit saying, take your time. Don't rush or jump into anything with either one of these individuals. Do take your time. But for some of you, this twin flame of yours could be at your doorstep. They, they could pull up to your doorstep. Because they might not have anywhere to go or anywhere to live. It's so, so strange. And then this soulmate has been watching you. This soulmate has been creeping. They've been watching you, um, and they want to come in and make their offer because they're stressed out that somebody else is going to take you. But this is what I'm saying in September. You're going to be approached by this twin flame and this soulmate, a lot of you. So that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.